Hi everybody, Jocelyn Stone here from Sick Addictions on the Adult Film Star Network. Um, I've been sent quite a few links regarding the Mercedes, Mercedes Carrera arrest. Um, yeah, horrific, horrendous, disgusting, shocking, and all that in a bag of chips. So, um, but something I, I'm waiting to see how everything unfolds with this, but because I've received so many text messages, tweets and everything saying, are you going to do a rant on this? I'm actually going to fill in a few little blanks. So when an uh, anonymous tipster calls in and says, I have this information, the police department does not just run with it and go from there. Uh, there's no such thing as anonymous. And I've been a tipster for something a few years ago. And what they actually do is they will take down your phone number. They will have a second person, one person interview you, a second person interview you. And then they will um, verify everything. Then they will want to meet with you. So you're not anonymous at all. You're not. And then... They will research everything, go from there, send it to the higher ups, their bosses, they verify it, and then they take it to a judge and get a warrant, okay? So when I read this whole thing, I was remembering when I was a tipster for something that was pretty bad. And, um, and it wasn't in the adult industry, of course, but, um, when it came down to it, I had all these meetings and all this stuff. Turns out, on the warrant, they put my name. They did. They put my name. There was nothing anonymous about it at all. So, when people are going batshit crazy about this, know that there were levels that it went through before this warrant actually came to be. And then was actually served and ex executed. So... That alone is scary as fuck, as far as I'm concerned. That scares the crap out of me. Now, the news and everything, they're, oh, a porn star and a porn director, and look at what they did. You know what? Their jobs had nothing to do with abusing a child or someone under the age of 18. It was a personal choice. And it has nothing to do with their jobs. So that's something that kind of upsets me when it comes to the the media saying, um, you know, oh, it was a porn star. It was a porn director. These are porn people. They're gross. They're predators. That's not the truth. I can tell you stories about predators that I worked with in uh, corporate and offices look at the scandal from the Catholic Church. You know, it's an individual's choice to know right from wrong and to do what they're going to do, whether it's good or bad. So I just want you guys to think about that when you start judging that, oh, it's because they did the adult industry in whatever capacity. Because when it comes down to it, the majority of adult performers are so uptight about carrying that huge stigma on our shoulders day in and day out. We can't even tell normal people what it is that we do because like, well, I'm not going to be able to have a normal conversation with this person if they know what I do for a living. So you almost alter it. And so they don't judge you, you know, get to know me as a person then I'll fucking tell you what I do. So you can realize that I'm a human being and I don't always have my clothes off. And I'm not a fucking predator. So when it comes down to that, there's so many people in corporate. There's police officers that, you know, abuse of power have been um, taken down for rape and drugs and all kinds of stuff. And I mean, there's so many different. It's an individual's choice is my point. And so looking at, at how this all is going down, because it's still very new. I'm glad that they have it to where these two cannot get out on bail. Um, the fact that one tiny little line 
said that there were drugs and weapons in in the the house where they executed the warrant. So think about the mental capacity of these individuals making choices. They made choices for themselves, not for the adult industry. The, what these people did are it, it's on them and it was in their household and I'm glad they got taken down and um I hope that they keep the person that brought him down and the uh, anonymous tipster. I hope that they keep that quiet, but I don't think they will. And I believe that the person's name is on the um, on the warrant, which is public. So, uh, because that happened to me. So when they say an anonymous tipster, yeah, they don't mean that. And that's why a lot of people get away with so many things for so many years. I mean, this went on for four months. I don't know if the tipster was collecting info or what, but that crap scares the hell out of me. And it ruins the fact that, that there's so many of us in the industry that I, I won't even do a fetish session with somebody under the age of 30. So that's saying something. 18, you're legal to vote. And 21, you're legal to drink in the U.S., and I won't even fucking go near you on a, a fetish session where my clothes stay on if you're under 30. So, so many of us won't even touch people outside the industry. They date within the industry. So, please gather the information and process it. Process it like a normal person with a normal job who pays taxes and is a, a, a good contributor to society. This individual, these two individuals as a couple decided to do drugs, have weapons, and did some really bad things to somebody that's under the age of 18. And that is super not fucking cool. And I judge them as individuals, not for the industry they worked in. Because believe me, if, if you guys want to come down on somebody, at least these people were outed. Catholic Church is still having some fucking issues cleaning up their backyard now, aren't they? Uh, documentaries are made and they're the ones hiding the shit. You know what I'm saying? Corporate people doing some bad fucking shit. Bad. And I have seen it and been in the middle of it. So don't look at their job Look at the individual, please look at the individual because there's bad, there's bad out there and it has nothing to do with your race, religion. It, it's you as an individual that chooses. So that's what I have to say right now. Gives you a little bit more information um, where I come from it, you know, uh, my past and things that I've been through and being a tipster. Um, so take that into consideration, read this stuff again and, um, and process it that way because it's not CSI and law and order and criminal minds where, oh, we're just going to walk in this house and you know, we have the right. No, there's a lot that goes in a lot. And that tipster, when I called in a tip, I had to um, give my name and phone number and all this stuff or nothing was going to be done. I had to have the meetings and stuff and I had to grab my fucking balls and show up to those meetings and go, no, this, this needs to happen. This needs to take place. People can get hurt. So I had to throw my name out there. I didn't have a fucking choice. And, and so anonymous tipster is fucking bullshit. And I don't think it's fair but it's true. So process all of the information, treat Mercedes and her boyfriend as individuals and not as our industry because I help people. I don't hurt people. So I don't want to be linked up with that shit because I don't deserve it as an individual. So I may be doing another part to this. We'll see how it all pans out because I'm going to be watching it like a fucking hawk. So thank you to everyone for bringing this to my attention. 
Um, turned out that I already had it in my email, but everybody kept blowing me up. Thank you for that. Thank you for listening to my rants. And I look forward to your comments. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear what you have to say, seriously. And I may have more parts to this. So thank you. Thank you. Mwah.